your 90 minutes start now. All the best, Nishi. All the best, bro. Two of us were put on one truck, even though it was an individual cooking task. I was on the truck with Akanksha. That was very, very, very challenging in our heads because we had to share our resources. We had to work together in the same amount of time and also work against each other. As I reached the food truck, the only thing I had in my mind was that Kerala cuisine include coconut, mustard and curry leaves. I'm making a steamed fish uh, and which uh, it will be like classic uh, Kerala spice and uh, I'm gonna make khichdi with it. Well, for me, this task is extremely important. It's, you know, taking regional cuisine and from all states of India and, you know, just taking the, taking it a notch above. I think that's where the true challenge is. I think for me, I, I, you know, when you say Gujarat, for me it means Surti, Kathiawadi, Bhavnagri. I want to see how deep they go in. Maharashtra is not Maharashtra. It's, it's Sauji, Konkani, Malwani, uh, Kolhapuri, you know. So I, I want to see what part of Maharashtra they, uh, they want to cook from. That for me would show a real intent and a devotion towards, towards exploring regional food. I completely agree and I'm really excited to see this because this is week four guys. They've got to up their ante, this they've got to really four, explain yeah. where they're coming from with, with their thought process and like Ranveer said, you know, they have to go deeper into Indian cuisines, you know, not just bring a plate of Punjabi food, but how deep can you go with that? Absolutely. Looking forward. Yeah. Absolutely. When the task started, Tanisha and I were quite, you know, clear as to who's taking what. We discussed how, you know, if you're using the same pots and pans, we'll keep it clean for each other. So I was happy, in fact, that, you know, she's going to be around and it's going to be fine. There's no tension that's going to happen on the truck. The only thing that I love about Gujarati cuisine is doklas or kanvis. So I'm trying to do a mix of the two and probably make a dokla pancake or a dokla crepe and a bhavnagari chilli. So the cuisine I've got is Maharashtra. So I've just got my ingredient basket and I'm just planning on things which I need to do. So I'm just working on my elements and I hope I just get everything on time. Hi girls. How are you guys doing? So what are you cooking, Yogita? I'm making tandoori chicken uh, with salad and taco with makhon sauce. So for tandoori chicken, you have to make sure that your chicken's marinated twice. Okay. The first marination has to be a ginger garlic paste marination, the second one with the curd. There are two marinations. So there's a technique there which is extremely important. Then you have to grill it on a charcoal so that you get the smoky flavour into your chicken. And Nishta, what are you making? Uh, so I'm doing uh, bharga, vigil and kokra with the Maharashtra pulao. Okay. So I'm using all the uh, dry fruits and the berries I've got. Okay. And I'm doing uh, Bombay dark crisps and I'm doing coriander chutney. Does that have a Maharashtrian twist on it? The uh, I'm chutney? actually thinking, currently I'm thinking of adding some cream. I think chutney. that's a good idea. Good going, girl. Best of Looking luck. Looking forward to tasting. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, chefs. Hello, chefs. Hello, ladies. How are you doing? Good. What are you cooking? Uh, chef, I'm going the Hyderabad route mm -hmm. and I'm going to do Hyderabadi biryani just with a different twist. I'm planning to put them in portlis mm -hmm. of uh, like a paratha mm -hmm. and have a nice refreshing uh, salad as well as a nice refreshing raita. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm hoping but I don't want to confuse you much but uh, maybe making the portli once it breaks is going to be messy to eat. Yes, it will. Um, maybe an arancini or something that uh, is still Hyderabad, fried biryani balls would be more pick me up and eat. I'm just leaving that thought out there. Also remember um, the yes. twist has to be in thought, yes. in presentation. Yes. Um, if it is a twist on taste, you have to top the Hyderabadi biryani. Mm, the twist is not on taste. I think it's perfect as it is the Hyderabadi biryani, something that I do at home as well myself. Good luck. Uh, Thank you. Think about elevation, think about food truck, think about eating from one plate. Yes.
What's up, Akansha? Uh, chef, I am making a like a proper Kerala dish. Like they have lots of coconut and uh, curry leaf in that. I am gonna use bamboo bamboo for steamer, and I'll steam that fish with me. For uh, for that, and I'm making a chana dal khichdi, which will be with some coconut and uh, mustard seeds in that. You know what I love, Anaitha, about uh, Kerala in the south of India is the ability to cook inside a banana leaf. Yeah. Something to think about. Yeah. Yes. Good luck. Thank you, Chef. What's cooking? So I'm trying to replicate a uh, lal mas. Lal mas. Okay. But I'm going to serve the lamb separately, the lamb chops, and okay. make a sauce out of the gravy. Made a bar, jowar, and atta ka atta. So I'm going to try and make some sort of cookie, like a little karag paratha rice. So how's the dish coming together? So is it lamb on a roti? So I'm just going to do the sauce on the side. Mm hmm. Build the rotis around. Keep the lamb inside. I'm just thinking of it. The elements are all going to be very spicy, whether it's the chutney or the lamb. So you might want to add balance with something sweet. You can figure that out. Um, but I like the construct of it, the roti chutney uh, construct. Very rustic, very Rajasthan, very hunting food. You know, very uh, Rajput ka, Rajput food. But uh, I still don't have a picture of how it's going to finally look. You need to get that picture in your head and then communicate it to us. Yeah. Anisha, yes. what are you making? Since I've got from Gujarat and I don't know much, the only um, my favorite thing and the only thing I know is dokla. So I said the one thing that's just sticking to my head was dokla can't be. And so I thought, you know what? I know what it's supposed to taste like, and I should just think about the flavor because at the end of the day, what tastes great is what the dish is ultimately judged on. Ladies, forty-five minutes gone. This is. Half time, 45 more minutes to go. This is the time to do a reality check and see what you can really execute. Cook what you can cook best. A couple of uh, dishes that I'm really excited about. One is how the Gujarati dish pans out. You know, I know. Me I think too. you you're that's, worried. That's more. the one I was just She's really like, worried. Oh my Gujarati, my, my Gujarati <laughs> food. You know, it was, it was something I was really looking forward to. But then I realized when I started chatting with her that she was a little lost. And honestly speaking, I feel for her. I could give her exactly what to do, but that would defeat the entire yeah. purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Even when I went to. Um, Talk about the Maharashtrian dish, yeah. and I got to know that she's making something like a berry pulao, and I was like, "Are you sure you want to make that?" So she's quickly <laughs> changed that, yeah. and she's making a different kind of a rice. Yes. For me, the dish that is kind of trying to find that balance is uh, is Chitwan's dish. Right. She's you know a, a biryani portly, very simply a portly on your plate with some raita and sauce around it. You know, so she, she achievable, uh, looks good. Is food truck food? So that's something that I'm looking forward to. What's the girl from Punjab making? I'm, I'm excited about that. So uh, Yogita is making this uh, taco. taco with a butter chicken filling and a salad. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I thought the idea was so great. What yeah, and, and and that again seems doable, right? Very a taco, doable. essentially three elements: the filling, the salad, and the bread. What she needs to do is uh, not panic. Yeah. Well, I hope she's not bitten more than she can chew because she was a little bit yeah, but, but panicked. Just in three the elements. End. Yeah, you know, you know, we'll find out. Let's, Let's see. see. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I guess I'm running out of time for sure, but I'll cut on one of my elements. So I'll just stick to what I have done until now, and I hope that's enough. I'm really stressed right now because I have only 25 minutes left, and I have a lot to do, and I have a lot to go. It's very important because I don't want to go into the black apron, so I'm gonna get going on what I'm doing now. I have a lot to do. I am sort of confident because my sauce is ready, my meat is cooked, 
my sweet component slightly is cooked too. So I'm just a little concerned about plating and the final look of the dish. So I think I'm on track right now. I am almost done with my dish. I'm just checking my fish. Check all your seasoning, check all the elements on your plate. Step up. Let's go girls, let's go, let's go full throttle, full throttle. I've finished making my biryani and my raita as well as my salad. So my basic ingredient uh, elements are now done. Um, I I'm now going. I'm planning to sort of make an arancini out of my um, biryani. So biryani seems to have come out really well. It's nice and wet, so that will actually help the arancini. I'm going to mince the or shred the mutton into it, and that will come out really well. Girls, you have exactly five and a half minutes left. Five minutes, 25 seconds. Clock is ticking. Let's pick up our game. Ladies, last 10 seconds. 10, 9, nine 8, eight seven, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it. Please, hands off the counters. Time's up. Yogita, there's nothing on your plate, so that's it for today.